Hi and welcome back. Now in this chapter, let's look at or begin looking at deploying virtual machines in Azure. So in Azure, you can deploy virtual machines with different flavors of operating systems. For example, you could have a virtual machine based on Windows Server 2016, Ubuntu Linux, or even have Windows desktop machines. So you could have virtual machines which are based on Windows 10. You can create and terminate virtual machines whenever you want. In the pay-as-you-go model, you only pay for the time the virtual machine is in the running state. You can choose to host different types of workloads on your virtual machine. So when you spin up a virtual machine in Azure, you'd probably spin it up for a particular purpose. For example, maybe you want to host a web application. So you might decide to install the role of Internet Information Services on a Windows Server on a virtual machine and then host that web application. Please note that on the Azure platform, you also have a service known as Azure Web Apps, which can be used to host your web applications. Maybe you would want to have a database server. So you might create a virtual machine or maybe a cluster of virtual machines you would install Oracle and you would host your databases on these virtual machines. Or maybe you want to install or have the Active Directory role on a Windows Server virtual machine for an internal domain. So depending upon the workload, maybe you have a custom application that needs to be hosted. You can create a virtual machine, host your application and then use it as required. Now, one very important concept and why this is important is because when you go later on in the concept of availability sets, redeploying virtual machines, you need to understand this core concept. Now, in the Azure data center, there are these physical servers. So there are a lot of physical servers on racks and racks. You have the networking, you have the cooling. So all of these physical aspects are in place in the Azure data center. Now, when you create a virtual server using Azure, this virtual server will be hosted on any one of the physical servers that is located in the Azure data center. So in the end, your virtual server is hosted on a physical server. Another important concept, and we are going to see this in our lab. When you deploy a virtual server, there are other core aspects that get deployed along with it. And each of these aspects is a separate resource in Azure. So when you deploy a virtual server, a virtual network is also deployed. Now a virtual network is a separate resource in Azure. There is also a network security group which gets deployed along with your virtual server. Now, please note that there are separate chapters on virtual network and network security groups. You also have a network interface. So this is where the IP address for your virtual server gets allocated. And then finally, you have your virtual hard disk. So your OS disk or any data disk. So there are other resources other than the virtual machine which get created. And this is an important point when you are working on any cloud platform. You have to understand even the costing aspect. So when you are looking at the costing of this entire scenario, remember that it's not only the cost for the virtual server. In this aspect, you also have to understand that you would also bear a cost for the OS or data disk. So this is a collective cost. There are some aspects which don't have any cost associated with it. For example, virtual networks are free of cost. So when you are deploying resources in Azure, always understand all the resources that get deployed along with it if there are any dependencies and then look at the costing aspect. Right, so this marks the end of this chapter in which we have looked at the backbone or the bare concepts behind deploying virtual machines. 
Now let's go on to our labs and see how we can deploy virtual machines.